MSNBC's Rachel Maddow is attempting to tie the Trump administration's travel ban to the deaths of the four U.S. soldiers in Niger. Take a listen to this. September 24th this year, so three and a half weeks ago, the Trump administration announced its new Muslim ban. They added in Venezuela and they added in Chad. The government of Chad announced that they had completed the withdrawal of all Chadian troops from their neighboring country, Niger. Right after that, that's when four U.S. Army soldiers got attacked by a large contingent of ISIS fighters in Niger. And four of them killed within days of the start of the Chad, Chadian soldiers being withdrawn. But does this conspiracy theory actually hold up? Here to weigh in is the former CIA trained senior intelligence operative for the U.S. Army, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer. Colonel, thanks for joining us this morning. Sure. You heard yeah. what she had to say. What yeah. do you say about it? Well, look, Rachel Manow speaking with authority on military issues is like SpongeBob SquarePants speaking with authority on nuclear physics. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is uh, beyond the pale. And I, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite find some uh, aluminum foil to put on my head during the time I was watching and preparing for this. This is all conspiracy theory. Uh, look, we have had that mission in, in Niger for uh, the, since, I think, 2015. MSNBC even did a, an explainer on this back in 2015. This is not a new mission. Uh, as in many things, uh, we are now working a global approach to going after ISIS, Boko Haram, and, and other elements of uh, AQIP or are working in that area. We are working very closely with the, the, our folk, the, uh, the allies there. And this whole thing is being politicized right. once more by the left because they have nothing better to do, apparently. Right. Hey, Colonel what... Schaefer, can you, can you explain, though, is there anything out there even remotely close from Chad saying the reason we're pulling our troops back is because of this? No. Not, not, not a thing. There is no causal link. Uh, it's one of those things where countries come and go, they work, and they, it depends on wh how much time they want to spend there and what their objectives are. Our, our greatest ally in the region, believe it or not, right now are the French. The French are the ones who had the air support on hand. Uh, General Mattis just thanked the French for their support, and I've talked to other Pentagon officials. They are a very close ally in the region, and, and the French, have, French were right there with us during this time. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're spot on when you say we've got to stop politicizing this. I mean, you think right. about those that died. Sergeant Johnson, who I was just reading a headline about, 25 years old, two kids, another one on the way due in January. Yes. You're thinking about his wife. You're thinking about his kids and his family. Right. And yet here we have the media trying to have a, a conversation and, and spilling out these conspiracy theories. But even the left is, is pushing back on, on what Rachel Maddow uh, right. is tying it to. This is a, a tear out from the Huffington Post. They say there was just one problem. Maddow's theory is just so flimsy that it could be debunked by just a quick glance at a map, let alone a phone call with an expert. Talk to us about the map that they're referring to here. How quickly could that theory be debunked? Well, look, again, you just look at the location of where we're operating versus where Chad is and where those things are going. Look, there's no doubt there's problems in West Africa. We've been dealing with this. I've uh, run operations in that region since uh, just after 2001, after the 9-11 attacks. This is an unstable region, but again, Niger is the focus here, not Chad. And Niger has its own issues. So again, I, I agree with that assessment. And let's be clear on this. Back to your point, Abby, uh, this is about soldiers. We're, these, these folks, our, our troops are out there doing a very hard job trying to extend the Pentagon's success uh, against ISIS in, in Iraq and Syria. Uh, the by, with, and, th and through strategy that General Dunford has put forth uh, of working with allies is working. We just have to make it work globally. So and what so, are the questions we should be asking there, Lieutenant Colonel? What are the important questions that you want answers to? Well, the first question is, uh, what can we do to ensure this doesn't happen again? We have to make sure this wasn't some sort of a green on blue violence. Pete mentioned uh, Afghanistan before. We've had problems there with the Taliban yeah. uh, infiltrating uh, the Afghan uh, army. So we have to make sure that didn't happen. Secondly, we have to make sure that we do give our troops every, every resource necessary to protect them. Uh, again, it's tragic. This is horrible. But this is war. We are at a global war. And the third point is, look, President Trump has is, is said uh, we're going to win this. So that means we're going to have to put people at risk. This is no small issue. But again, I think we're making progress. We've got to hit this as we're doing at the tactical level, working with allies, as well as going after the message, going after Wahhabism and all these other very uh, severe forms of Islam, which recruits people to this way of thinking. But again, uh, President Trump's given the military and the Pentagon its, its, uh, its, its due, and uh, it's, 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 they're, they're in charge of the war now, and we're making progress. Well, Colonel Tony Schaefer, thank you very much for hey, thanks, decoding Pete. tinfoil hat theories. Huh. You, can, you can put it on again later. I try